Welcome to the Masked Singer. It's British Invasion Night. Four champions take the stage for the ultimate kerfuffle in our quarterfinals. Royal decree. It's the lords and ladies of the Mask Singer panel. Yeah, Jazzy. Welcome to the Mask Singer quarterfinals. Yes. yes. It promises to be a smashing night of British hits. <laughs> Give it up for your panel oh, of you celebrity <laughs> detectives. Thank you. All right, guys, go head on over there to the desk. All right, We got on, a jam-packed night ahead of us. It's going to be some good British fun. Audience, are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. We have a night of epic performances, and tonight we welcome our top four. The California Roll. The Macaw. The UFO. And the singer who successfully fought her way back into the competition, Medusa. All right, <laughs> Ken. Ken, you good? Oh, yeah, it's great. I'm great here on British Invasion now, isn't it? It's so great, Nick Cannon. This, I get to finally use my real voice, isn't it? It's so great. Just call me Sir Ken Jung. Oh, my Lord. Okay, guys, in all seriousness, what are you excited to see from the quarterfinals? For the first time, the best of the best come together. Woo! Yes! yes. It's like a battle royale the whole show. I honestly think, real talk, this is gonna be the most tense of all the Mass Singer episodes we've had so far because it does all come to this. This is the playoffs, you know what I mean? There it is. These quarterfinalists have been keeping our panelists guessing all season. And now our Mass Singers will each perform one song on tonight's stage. Three singers move on while one gets unmasked tonight. Let's kick things off with our very own red coat. Here is the macaw. Macaw, you just might be the front runner tonight. Thank you. I can't believe that I'm here. It's like weird, like you also take it personally in a competition, it's like, if you make it, it's not so much about like, oh, I won, I beat everyone. It's more like, people are accepting me. <laughs> like, <laughs> they like me. Acceptance is definitely something I've struggled with both in my career and in my personal life. So to be here on this stage and feel so comfortable and celebrated for just being myself feels great. Now, I want to do a good enough job that it's worthy of going into the semifinals. It's a little bit funny This feeling inside I'm not one of those who can Easily hide I don't have much money But boy if I did Woo! I'd buy a big house where we both But these things I do oh, see, I've forgotten if they're green or they're blue. You don't. 
front runner now? Oh. All right, I think so. That's crazy. Beautiful. Wow. wow. The macaw. Flying around and soaring with that performance. Wow. That was outstanding. That was outstanding. These are the champions going head to head tonight, and that vocal could win the, the championship of season nine. Wow. That vocal. Wow. Oh gosh, thank you. The McCall. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> We really got to see all the colors of your heart tonight on that stage. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for being so vulnerable and courageous to share that with us. Oh, you're going to make me cry. All right, well, let's go ahead and get some help, right? We need <laughs> a Man. super clue. Woo! I'm excited about this one here to present tonight's clues. It's Gerard Butler. Wow. Yeah, Jay. Oh, wait. My bad. Oh, sorry, sorry, I misread that. Yeah. It's, it's Gerard the Butler. Oh. oh. We yes. love him too. Even better. I'm a bigger fan of Gerard the Butler. Go ahead, Gerard. Yeah. Go ahead, Gerard. My bad. Yeah. Go ahead, What's Gerard. What's up, Gerard, Gerard the Butler? Gerard the Butler. We have a clue here for our singers. Let's see. Leader. 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 Whether in the studio, on the stage, or on TV, I know how to lead. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. all right. Uh-oh. Well, thanks, Gerard the Butler. We'll see you a little later. Y'all keep it going for You all dismiss. That could be TV. That could be movies. That could be arenas. That could be Broadway in terms of stage. Okay. I, this is so easy, and I'll tell you why. Uh-oh. Stop. Uh -oh. Okay, before you boo, hear me out. Okay, I said before you boo, all right? The macaw is Macaulay Culkin. Oh, my God! <laughs> Here, stop booing. Just the main clue itself. Macaw! Lee Culkin. That right there says it all. But what also doesn't say it, He's a lead actor. He's been the leading actor ever since he was a kid. You're talking about Home Alone. You're talking about My Girl. That is a McCawful guess. What? Yes. There was a movie called The Good Son. That was a previous clue. Macaulay Culkin was in The Good Son with one of Robin's previous guests, Elijah Wood. This is Macaulay Culkin. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. When I hear that quality of voice, I'm thinking it could be a great vocalist like Gavin McCall. <laughs> oh my God! No, you know what? It's Gavin DeGraw. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but he, he said something earlier about that he doesn't sing country music, and oh, I know that Gavin, well, Gavin does. But country, yeah. the control that he had throughout the whole performance—it has to be a professional recording artist on Robin, stage. Robin, what about like Ryan Cabrera? See, I think that's a great that's guess. A great that's guess. I think good. that's a great I think that's exactly the word. And also, his wife was also a contestant on the show. So ah. I really think it would that's be a our really first celebrity couple celebrity on that couple, singer. Like, as separate oh, wait, contestants. Well, we did have Foster and McPhee as a banana split. And yeah. Snow Owls. But yeah, but not competing against each other. Yeah, they're, against but, each but other, separate, right. Nicholas. Separate. My bad. Separate. This is British night. Be accurate, okay? <laughs> Nicole, make some sense out of this, please. Okay, so we heard the been on stage in the studio and TV, so Darren Chris oh, has been on guess. stage. Incredible singer. He's Great recording singer. He artist it all. in TV. Love right? him. He's Super been on talent. Broadway. Yep. He's also was a leader in that Versace. Oh, yeah, he, he uh, won Emmy, thing. Golden Globe, Critics Choice, all those things. Exactly, yeah. and yeah. I'm glad that you say that because another clue was silver medal. Okay. Which I don't think he's silver medal because he won an Emmy. Kind of rules it out, maybe. Someone who yeah. has won a silver medal before, and his vocals remind me of this, is David Archuleta. <gasps> David oh. Archuleta! Oh, oh my God! That that David Archuleta great. came in second on American That's Idol the seventh great season. Guess. And also in the clues it said this year he's decided to be brave. And I think that's because he's just recently come out and joined the LGBTQ plus oh. community. Ding, ding, ding. I like that guess. I just want you to know, I thought I was at first not going to be able to handle the pressure of being on a stage like this again, but 
I've had such a fun time after going through a lot of life transitions. I feel like I'm able to spread my wings and show my true colors. Being in this stage, I'm just constantly makes me feel like I can be myself. Well, Macaw, whoever you are, I hope you fly all the way to the finals, my yes. feathery friend. It's outstanding. Indeed. Stellar performance. Cheerio. Thank you. Keep it going, brother Macaw. He said doing this again, getting back out here in this kind of yeah. situation again. He's been here before. Yeah. In another competition show. I really appreciate what the panel said about the performance. <laughs> I just, it makes me a little emotional. I didn't think it was going to be a healing experience being here. Finals. It's British Invasion Night, and our next singer is back for a second kelping. Give it up for the California Roll. This is such a different experience than we have ever done. How many people can say they like dress up like a sushi and sing Lady Gaga on yeah. the television? <laughs> I felt like I was sitting in Broadway watching this epic performance. Lady Gaga would be proud. Yeah. You made Gaga proud. It really is just about our voice and the singing and how to push ourselves where we can't use the foundation of what we know. Which is exciting because we get to expand into new territories, new sounds, new heights with no shame. So tonight we're taking it up a notch and hopefully it'll get us to the semifinals. This is going to be the greatest performance. You were here before I couldn't look you in the eye You just like an angel Your skin makes me cry You flow like a fan in a beautiful world You're so very special I wish I was special But I'm a queen anything like that. We haven't. Wow. My mind is blown. 
man. Just bring out the golden mask trophy right now for crying out loud. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's right. Individually, your voices, each person, you're, you're forced to be reckoned with, but together, collectively, you are limitless. Indeed, indeed. Well, I guess we could use a clue, right? Yes, please. Oh, Gerard. We love you, Gerard. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Fresh Prince had Jeffrey, I got Gerard. <laughs> Let's see what you have for the California roll, all right. White House. White House! White, White House. House! Well, we had such a good time performing at the White House. They even gave us a standing O. Well, wow. They should. Oh, thank you, Gerard. Did that help you guys at all? So I had mentioned this name before. Uh, you know, I'm thinking this could be like Pentatonix. Yeah. Um, they did perform at the White House, so. Whoa, you're getting a Jenny chant. Thanks, you guys. I think I'm gonna go with Pentatonix. I am a math. A fan of the Pentatonics as well. However, one of my favorite musicals ever that changed the DNA of musicals is Hamilton. Oh, yeah. And Absolutely. they performed at the White House. I'm sure they got a standing O. Anthony Ramos, Leslie Odom Jr., are you up there somewhere? Maybe this <laughs> is the Hamilton cast. That's great. I like it. I like, I like it. it. Brilliant guess. And upon further thought, California Roll is Miami Sound Machine, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Hear me out. Every time California Roll performs, <laughs> the rhythm is gonna get ya. Broadway clue in the past clues. Gloria Estefan had her own show on Broadway. Get oh, yes. on your feet. Get and audience, feet. you guys should stop booing and get on your feet and salute me. Yeah, Miami Sound Machine. Ken, get off your feet. A lot of fun up there on the panel, but I gotta ask you guys, where do all those amazing harmonies come from? I mean, the harmonies come from our soul. The reason we sing is to spread love, peace, and joy. That is definitely a source giving gift. Such a great answer and a great job, an amazing performance. Keep it going. Yeah. Go ahead and head backstage, California Roll. They're gonna be hard to beat. Crazy, it's so good. We really gave it our all. We're excited. We hope we continue. We want to win this thing. Oh, English breakfast. Man, I can get used to this. Well I've done yourself, Austin. Appreciate you. It's the quarterfinals here on The Masked Singer. Put your hands together for the UFO. I was really nervous when I sang my first song. But I'm really excited to have made it this far. That performance was out of this world. Thank you guys. That means so much. This experience has exemplified going out of my comfort zone and being more vulnerable than I've ever been before. So much of my career is based on the way that I look physically, so adding value because of my energy or my singing, it feels like there is more that I have to offer. And, you know, I'm getting older, so gotta hold on to something. <laughs> <laughs> Joking!
Well, that's the thing I love about UFO. You come out here, you command the attention from the audience, you beam us up and take us there somewhere out of this world. There you go. You are so fun, UFO. Yeah, yes, you're Jenny. All right, well, we could uh, use a clue, right? Yes, so, I would please. love one. We need help. GB, where you at? Oh, my God, Gerard the Butler. Oh, my goodness. Our favorite butler. Landline, huh? BT phone home. Oh, that was for me. I'll get it back in the back. We'll find. I don't know what they were talking about, but they're telling me that the clue was saying red, white, and blue. I'm beyond proud to represent and come from. The USA. Okay. okay. Oh. Thank you, Gerard the Butler. Thank you, Gerard. All right, panel. Did that clue help any of you? Um, I'm thinking because this is British Invasion Night, this could be someone with dual citizenship. Someone from the UK oh, good. and the US. Right, right. Uh. Right? The name that I'm thinking is Lily Collins from Emily in that, Paris. That's a great. That is a great I guess. Love Paris. Phil Collins' daughter. Phil Collins' Phil daughter, Collins, yes. exactly. She got her chops from her father. And um, Emily in Paris is it takes place all around the fashion industry. I right, love right. that show. I think that's a great guess, and I love that guess almost as much as my yeah, guess. Yeah, get him, kid. Okay, get ready to not boo and get ready to apologize. Okay. <laughs> Okay, they're saying, last time I said Kendall Jenner because it was a strike of pose. Yep. We're all talking about Model Runway, which makes me think of another model from the U.S., someone like Rebecca Romaine. Think about that. She's got this kind of vibe. There was a touchdown right. clue, and she has been on the cover of Sports Illustrated, so there right. is a little connection. And her husband, Jerry O'Connell, was a quarterback, and, and like Jerry Maguire, yeah, and the all clue these was things. Red, red, white, and, and blue. blue for her character. Blue, she was in the X-Men Mystique. Yes. Like, I loved it. That's not a bad guess. It's time. right? Yeah, it's not I'm bad. not getting booed, so I'm a winner. Thank you. I'm the people's champion. They like that guess. Robin, what about you? Well, you know, I'm following your footsteps in the model world, and there's a model named Molly Sims. Oh, yeah. I know Molly. Because there was a tiara, and I believe she judged the Miss America pageant. Can she sing? I don't know if she can sing that well, but this could be her coming out party. Exactly. All right, UFO, you got the energy on high in here. I got to ask you a question. How is the Mass Singer stage compared to other stages that you've appeared on? This is really freeing for me because my usual career is very rigid and I feel like you have to be perfect. It's all about your appearance, for example. And it's kind of strange, but honestly, this is the most authentic I feel like I've ever been able to be. Oh. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. So thank you guys so much. UFO, you have captured the heart of this planet and you are amazing, Rebecca. I mean, UFO, out of this world. Yeah, whoever you are. Whoever, whoever you, you are. are. Yeah. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen, you keep it going for UFO. 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 Bye, UFO. Who is that? It's just really great to be here. I don't know how I got here, and I just really don't want to go home, so. I want to be an unidentified floating object of this set for a long time. Who is that? Man, British people drink.
drink way too much tea. Yeah, you can go dump the rest of that in the Boston Harbor. Welcome back to the Mass Singer, the quarterfinals. Yes, quarterfinals. We've heard from our three champions. Now it's time for a singer who was saved by the ding dong, keep it on, Bell. Then battled their way back into the competition last week. It's Medusa. I definitely did not imagine I would make it this far, but I did try to manifest in the best ways that I could. I lit a candle, rehearsed extra hard, talked to my therapist, <laughs> and now here I am, having literally clawed my way back into the competition. If somebody we saved actually took home the trophy. From the beginning, I've been very competitive with myself. And I'm excited I get to compete against all the champions. Especially California Roll for a rematch. There have been tears, laughter. It has felt beautiful and crazy. And I just hope I make it to the end. the one to beat. You are able to have this vulnerability, right? Where yeah. you just open your heart completely, but at the same time, you're fearless. I mean, you're, you're a revelation. Oh, thank you so much. This is the craziest, kindest thing ever. So thank you. Great job, Medusa. Beautiful. Well, we want to know who Medusa is so we could get a clue, right? Let's do it. My man Gerard, come on out. He probably hates this damn bell. I think he loves it, Nick. <laughs> what is this? Appreciate you, G. It's tea and scrumpets. Mom. Oh, mom. Oh, she's a mom? My gosh. Being an artist is my greatest passion, but being a mom is my favorite job. 
Oh. Well, that rules out some wow. of our guesses. God, that, oh, this that is rules out Kesha. Wow. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, G. Y'all give it up for Thank Gerard you. the Butler. G the B. Now, that was a pretty big clue, that guys. Is, that's an important clue. That does change. Because oh, uh, I mean, I've been on this Kesha run. Have. You know, I've mentioned Kesha a couple times. But now, I, I'm, I don't know. Now I'm, I'm having trouble with this one. I want to go back to Ellie Goulding because I know she is a mom. She's from the UK. <laughs> But really, this is an enigma. You are a mystery uh, of the highest order. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Well, I, I don't know if it's Ellie because Ellie has so much more of a breathy tone. You know, I go off of vocals. Right. I've been saying this since the beginning. That voice reminds me of Lord. Yeah. But that's a great guess, you know. Lord doesn't have a child. Right. Oh. So I'm trying to think of performers in that vein and an artist that I'm a massive fan of, Imogen Heap. Yes. Hide and seek. She's really unique and a trailblazer like you. Regina Spector could be Bishop Briggs. Oh. oh. Yeah. Maybe it could be her. Amy Lee from the lead singer of Evanescence. Oh yes. my God. She's got yeah, that good. very strong vibrato love and presence. Her. So good I don't know. That's, that's all I've got. Evanescence Ken. isn't bad. What about Hal Halsey? She's still a contender. Halsey's oh, a mom. Halsey works. No. But, that but then, though, there's someone else that I've been wanting on this show. I think this could be Ashley Simpson. Oh, that's great. She's a great singer. That is a great guess. You like Halsey more? It's no, I don't like either. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, obviously, we're struggling with this one. Medusa, I have to ask you, where does that deep emotion in your performances come from? Um, I have experienced devastating loss in my life, and I think my goal as an artist was for people to feel less alone. And that's what music has always done for me. So just the fact that you guys are feeling what I'm trying to portray, it means more than you'll ever know. So thank you. Wow, we can definitely feel it. Fantastic job, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going one more time you. for Medusa. Men in Black, come help her out. Head on backstage and we will see you soon, Medusa. That was beautiful performance, beautiful. Oh my gosh. I think that was the most emotional yet. I, I think this whole thing has been a journey and it just means so much to have this response. I can't even believe it. For reals, I've never wanted to find out who's underneath the mask yeah. more than Medusa. I think none of us knows who she it's is. It's hard to pin down, right? I love her. Who is that? Welcome back to the quarterfinals of The Masked Singer. One of our singers will be going home tonight, just short of the semifinals. Aww. Who will advance and who will be Paul revering their way home tonight? Wow. <laughs> Did the California roll exceed our expectations or are they tonight's fish and chips? Oh. Did the McCall wow everyone with that Elton John classic? Or was it a plain old burden? The UFO put her all on the stage, but is she off to the mothership tonight? Oh. No. Medusa slithered her way back into the competition, but is she on the first flight out of here? Four incredible performances, but only three slots in next week's semifinals. Studio audience, panel. Oh my God, oh my God. Vote for your favorite. The singer with the least amount of votes will be unmasked and sent home. Oh, oh man. The votes have been tallied. The rain clouds are coming in for... Someone's got to go. This is no joke. UFO. Oh, oh man. Oh, UFO. McCall, California.
one year old Medusa. You're off to the semifinals. Congratulations. Enjoy this moment and head on back. Give some love to the UFO. UFO, UFO, UFO. UFO, 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 yeah. Keep it going for a UFO. UFO. And all this amazing energy. We're so sorry that your journey ends here. <laughs> we hate to see you go, but we can't wait to see who you are. She is still just so full of energy and bubbly. I love it. But before we get to the big reveal panel, we need your final guesses. Well, you know, we've been on this model tip, and this beautiful lady was in Sports Illustrated. Right. There was a tiara clue, and she was in a judge in the Miss America pageants. I think that this is supermodel Molly Sims. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Molly. Okay. Molly's a good guess. But um, you know what? I can't get the clue from last time yes. out of my head, which was GG. Hey. Like GG Hadi. Oh. There was also a Queen Victoria clue. She was a Victoria's Secret model. Yes, she was. I think this really could be GG Hadi. All right. GG. Yes, Jenny. And Nicole. Okay, she's the star of one of the biggest comedies on Netflix, Emily in Paris. Ah. The Tierra Clue is because she is from Hollywood royalty. Yes, her father is the legendary Phil Collins. Against all odds, <laughs> I really think this may be his talented daughter, Lily Collins. All right. Wow. Right, right, right. You know what? My guess is she's a major supermodel. The touchdown in her first episode clue was because her husband, Jerry O'Connell, played a quarterback in Jerry Maguire. Rebecca Romaine, you had us at hello. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Ken. All right. Well, everybody's made their final guess. Let's see if any of you are correct. Woo! UFO, we need to know who are you. Audience, say it with me. Take it off! 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 Oh my God, who is it? Take it off! Oh my gosh! No freaking way! Take it off! Babe, I know that you're the most gorgeous human ever. I mean, look at that face. But I didn't know you could sing. I mean, I'm no Nicole Scherzinger, but <laughs> I like to sing in the showers. That takes a lot of guts to get up there. You've graced our stage you a few times. Job. Man. Oh, great job. Nice. You did a great job. And Olivia, you made it to the quarterfinals. That is something. I don't know how that happens. And it's the most competitive quarterfinals. The most competitive. I yeah. mean, those people whoever they are, I was like, wow. Now you do so many things, have so many talents. Is singing something you now are gonna consider to take seriously? I mean, to make I'm it this like, far? The singing, the shower that I do, I'm gonna like, just like make it a little bit more like professional. <laughs> I'm just gonna like bump it up a notch in there. I also want whatever you have, because we've always said through and through, you're so infectious. You have yeah. the best energy and the yes. best spirit on this show this season. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Oh, that means a lot. UFO! 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. UFO! UFO! Where are you going? You don't have to leave yet. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to say to your fans, family at home, or of course to our panel? Just thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I mean, I really do feel like, although I had a mask on, this is more of my personality that I got to share for the first time. So much of what I feel like I have to do is, you know, not about that or people don't want to 
see your personality. So yeah. this was really, really fun for me. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Olivia yeah. Coco. Yeah. Yeah. She's so much fun. The semifinals are upon us. Next week, McCaw, California Roll, and Medusa go head to head, determined to get one step closer to the Golden Mask Trophy. But right now, put your hands together for the artist formerly known as the UFO, Olivia Coppola! Yeah.